Hey guys, Champer Productions here coming back at you with another Transformers video review and in today's video I'll be taking a look at my custom painted Transformers Age of Extinction Voyager class Galvatron. Now this figure came out um, during the Age of Extinction movie line and uh, truth be told the original figure's paint job and everything was just... <laughs> So I decided a, a little while ago to go custom paint it and everything, and honestly, I really am happy with the final product. And with the rise of the new Studio Series Galvatron, I figured this would be an opportune moment to kind of reflect on the old figure for a little bit and just see what they can improve upon. But again, just keep in mind, this is a custom painted figure. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. But, you know, starting off here, we'll take a look at his little gun. Um, I custom painted all of this. See, I added a ton of silver some uh, gunmetal gray, make sure this is focused, added some gunmetal gray to the wiring and whatnot and some sapphire blue paint as well just to make everything kind of pop and everything and I mean the missile is just a missile but here at the front I added some blue, some gray and then some red on the inside just to kind of look like he had shot a missile or something and the barrel was still kind of red from it or something i just figured it'd look pretty neat but you know there we have his gun not a whole lot to it um i am happy with how it turned out though all the different blues and the silvers and stuff really pop but you know galvatron here in truck mode honestly you know the truck mode they originally gave us wasn't bad um i think it cleans up a little bit better in certain areas as compared to the new uh, um studio series galvatron uh the tailgate or i say the tailgate the bed of the truck here is definitely really hollow but i've added some silver going along the back here and this is truly a lot of uh robot mode uh kibble kind of so to speak i mean these are just his legs but you can see some darker silver there for the trailer hitch which i added and then some black here I had to black out the gas tanks because those were gray originally i do believe um and then the staircases i painted black as well and then that's pretty much it on the sides and back and on the front I added just a little bit of blue on his uh on the light bars and then some blue up here and I can't remember if the silver was already painted I, I want to say it was already painted I can't remember um but I know I did paint the blue here um as well so that's pretty much it for the truck mode um there's not a whole lot to it coming around to the back you know I painted the smoke stacks and kind of painted these uh these little doors here on the back so, I mean, not a whole lot to it. I took a protective uh, plastic um, coat to it, a spray paint coat, um, just to kind of make sure it didn't get chipped up or anything because there is a lot of paint and a lot of hard work that went into this thing. But I tried to base everything uh, I painted on this truck mode as accurately as I could. So I put, pulled up pictures of, like, the actual truck mode from the film that they used and uh, ba uh, painted this whole thing based off of that. But I'm not going to go over the transformation of this thing or anything like that. I'm just going to uh, dive straight into the robot mode. So without further ado, let's get him into his robot mode. And just like that, here we have Galvatron in his robot mode. And honestly, this is probably one of the most hated figures, if not the most hated figure in the Age of Extinction toy lineup. This thing clearly put no effort in the paint department. No effort in the transformation department because you can turn the figure around, you can see that's the entirety of the truck cab sitting on his back. This figure is the definition of a shell former. Which, I mean, yeah, that's where this figure received a lot of hate. It's truly 50-50. The paint job sucked and the transformation sucked. That flat out, that's what killed this figure. And, you know, after I got done custom painted it, I found that I liked this figure a little bit more just due to how much it pops with the new added paint. I had to base paint this thing silver before I could add on any highlight details, but we can see, you know, I've tried to add some blue and some silver there on his shins with some gold and some more blue kind of on his kneecaps. Again, you know, I only painted this thing. There's no, like, physical structure changes. Uh, we can still see that, like, this is... I, I don't know if this is meant to be, like, his kneecap area because, like, 2% of his thigh makes up the entirety of the leg. Um, so yeah, there's that. I painted the back of these, uh, panels here, um, with some blue and some silvers as well. And then coming around to the upper body here, we can see all the details and whatnot actually are really good looking whenever they're painted. The, I, I feel like they pop a lot more now that there's some silver and stuff breaking it up and there's a lot of more 
blue and whatnot being shown throughout the figure. I've got some blue stripes going up on his arms and then kind of ending off these circuits here as well, which I think looks really nice. I got some orange there in his chest for that little grinder section. And then his head, I think, looks a whole lot better now that it's been painted up. I like the orange eyes, which, again, I had to get a very fine tip paintbrush to paint that. Um, yeah, his eyes had to be custom painted. His face custom painted and everything, but I think it turned out really well. And then I had to paint the circuits on his neck and everything. But overall, I feel like this figure could have been a lot better if the Hasbro just took the time to paint it, but they didn't. And we are getting a new Studio Series version, which has inspired me to make this video. But he can hold his cannon. Um, it just pegs into his uh, fist like it did originally. Again, no physical changes have been made to this figure other than uh, cosmetic paint stuff. Uh, so, you know, he can hold his gun and everything and go pew pew bang bang and, you know, shoot at the Autobots, and, I mean, they don't look too terribly bad. I think my only complaint with it is, is that there's no blue to kind of match up with his hand. It's just the circus kind of cut off at his, uh, at his forearm there, and it kind of looks a little bit wacky, but it don't look too bad. Um, overall, I'm really happy with the paint job. It leaves me to wonder what the new Studio Series version is going to be like. Um, the articulation on this figure stays just about the same. Um, you can get some pretty neat poses out of the figure. Um, it's not the best posing figure that they ever released, but I mean, you can get some interesting um, poses out of the figure as a whole. But I'm very curious to see how this new Age of Extinction Studio Series Galvatron is going to turn out whenever they get it released. We've got some pictures of it and whatnot, but there's no reviews out yet. There will be some early reviewers that will have the figure, I'm sure, uh, within the next few weeks. I have no doubt, but um, I just wanted to take some time and reflect on the older figure and get a chance to show off another custom figure that I have in my collection. Um, I'm really proud of it, really happy with how the end result came out. But guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think of Age of Extinction Galvatron. Let me know what you think of the upcoming Studio Series Galvatron in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champion Productions, signing off.